Alright, first of all, I went ahead and took it out to see exactly what needed to be done and how to make it a little bit easier. Anyway, you'll have this plastic ruler here with five screws across the top and eight screws down here uh, with another plastic ruler that you should take off care. Um, a flathead screwdriver and they'll pop out of place. Uh, there, remember there are eight screws down below and five above. You can take your fingernail after you take all these screws out of here and take the bottom plastic piece out and the top plastic piece. Take your fingernail and put it out and you may have to notice that there's a snap right there. You may have to add a little bit of pressure but use your fingernail don't apply a lot of force and, uh, and peel it out and it'll snap out um, later after that there are one two three four five um, arrows right here on the side the best thing to do is to take a flathead screwdriver and you will put it in insert them and barely push out a little bit and you'll hear a click just like that and another click and then these are already loose this one's in here too after you do that pull up on the screen you may have to do it on this side as well just to get it to come out in certain places you'll notice that the screen is free and this is the back of the screen there are three, I believe, three screws on the back of these, on the sides of these frames, and these have to be removed. There are three on this side as well. After you remove the rods, bars, the frame on the side of the screen, um, peel up this tape, not this, the uh, yellow tape, orange yellow tape, very carefully lay it off to the side right here, might need it again. There's a pull tab above the slot, use it to disconnect back the ribbon on the screen and then your screen is free after you've unpackaged your new screen keep the plastic on the front of it so you don't scratch it up while you're laying it down this ribbon will slide in gentle. Uh, there's two pieces to it actually. This ribbon will slide in from the back and then this one will make sure that it locks in place. Um, bring your screen up and rest it softly and just kind of turn your power on to see if the screen works. The screen works. Um, after that you can turn the screen off. Remember to turn the whole computer off. Hold the uh, power button down because the battery is hard to remove from this laptop. There's no need to take it apart to take the battery out. Take this yellow piece of tape that you took off earlier and lay it back on the connector so that it'll stay there and then put the rods that you've taken off the side onto the side of the, uh, the new screen once you have uh, put the side frames back in be sure to slide the bottom pieces back into the bottom plastic where you piece of the frame 
insert it in from the left side behind make sure that these metal frames are behind where you originally took the bottom plastic part out and then insert these back into place let it snap power on once again to make sure the screen isn't damaged and then it's on power off and then take the upper plastic piece oh wait. take the upper plastic piece and start snapping it back in like that. You may have some problems where it's not just exactly snug, but you can fix that with screw, the screws that will go in it. And then begin putting the screws back in place. After you put the screws back into the plastic piece on the top. The uh, plastic piece is on the bottom of the, the bezel. And why I've saved the bezel for last is because it is the first step that you make and I think it's important to watch a tutorial all the way through it. Anyway, um, most likely the bezel will be damaged. You might want to consider getting a new one. Um, uh, mine was bent. I'm going to attempt to put it back on, but clearly it's been damaged, uh, very much so, actually. And most likely you'll even need some adhesive to, uh, to keep it on, so your mind's not even sticking. Um, and I don't think it's going to stick. It doesn't seem as though it's going to stay. This bottom piece does snap back in though, and you can get some adhesive and put it back on here. My recommendation for taking this off though is from another video. I used a pizza cutter. Uh, a credit card is much too large to fit in the narrow space between here to peel this back and get started use something like a, uh, a putty knife after you get it started and a heat gun. I didn't use a heat gun. That's probably why it's damaged. Um, use a heat gun to strip the adhesive and or melt the adhesive and peel it off. Obviously this one's going to have to be replaced. I'm just going to leave it off. Um, anyway, I'll show you. The, you would take your pizza cutter like this or whatever knife you have. Go in behind it and once you get in gently like so and peel away the tape you just keep going down like this and then you would do the same thing on each side and I'm not going to do that since mine's obviously so damaged um, one thing I did do that may be easier for you is to instead of um, putting the connector on the back first to put these side pieces in first and make sure that they're all right. Um, other than that, when you're working with smaller screws, you might want to use a magnet, a magnet screwdriver, because I had much trouble putting these screws back in. Um, other than that, yeah, there I will link a video that shows you how to take this take this bezel off with the pizza cutter. Um, this is the one that I, I learned to do it off of. Like I said, watch it all the way through. Watch it a couple times so that when you get into it, you know what you're doing. And you don't you don't get to a point where you think you're going to forget something and then end up doing something. you you like pulling on it because you don't know how to get it out or you don't remember how to get it out or forgetting 
where a screw might go on these little pieces here too which I'll include I'll, I've included the pictures earlier on where these screws are uh, numbered so when you're taking them out or bringing them back in you see, can see exactly where the screws can go because they have numbers beside them some holes won't uh, and that's it turning the computer back on screen works you're good to go